generic greetings and welcome back once again to prison architect where in the previous episode we continued construction on the north here the north and to make our supermax and legendary facility we managed to get all of the walls put in we also went ahead and placed some of the cells right up the top there we've got a yard in the center and obviously we slightly modified the bottom to have a staff room staff canteen kitchen canteen and a fairly large common room we also have solitary fixed on the right hand side speaking of fixed at the latter part of the episode we have a bit of a problem and that's because all of this was classed as insecure now I, I thought it was a bit of a bug and it was not generating things properly and it was connecting to the outside and that's not what it was at all it's because these three doors were locked open I thought because the doors were in it wouldn't class that as being a problem however it seems to be a bit smarter than I give it credit for so changing these to be normal as they are now has actually fixed that issue which I did to be fair put an addendum to the video as well if you saw that either way it is now all sorted however the damage has already been done we can see that we have three prisoners more than we can hold and Gibbs here did try and escape and got to there before they were tasered so at least we've not had any major fallout from this although to be fair, the damage is sort of ongoing. I'm going to change these to a staff door because, quite frankly, that is really all we need. Um, in this episode, we want to continue on building this thing and basically get it fit for prisoners to turn up. And let's do all of that right now. So... First things first, the, by the way, the yard is on the inside there, and I think I'm probably going to keep it as the as an inside bit, although I still haven't made my mind up. The other option would be to have it like it is now, but what would be the best course of action? In the yard, obviously, we could put a PA system, and we probably will put a PA system. However, we can't... Oh, training dummy as well. I don't think that would be a good thing. Uh, snack machines, perhaps. Actually, no, because they don't have any money to buy snacks, so there's no real point. Um... Don't need floodlights because it's indoors. Guard pavilion we can't place. I mean, that's the only thing that if we make that out... Uh, if we made that like an external area, we can place a guard pavilion right in the centre. And... Quite frankly, I think it looks cool, so we might do that. We might delete the foundation and do that way. The problem with that is we will need to place some more walls around this outside using the fence, and I will do that right now, I think. So a fence along there, which will then go along and then come along here and something like that. And the reason for that fence is because we need to measure the distance one, so it's one uh, from the outside, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, things can't be thrown across there. Obviously, we do need a door on either side. That'll be fine. Then we can change that to staff only. So there's no real great peril here. And that is all now placed in apart from probably that little section there. Let me double check that one. No, no, it is actually being ordered. So that is fine. Over to deployment and obviously to staff only on that area once they've finished the rest of it. At least this is now set to max sec. Um, while they're cracking on with this, although that is pretty much sorted now, I think we will go ahead and design the canteen. So from here we can have probably, actually do you want the food along this side? We can probably have two serving tables along there. That should be more than sufficient. So let me do that. Normally we will plan it all off first, but quite frankly, it's just going to go in. I think in between here we will put a drinks machine to grade it. Do we want to grade this thing? I don't really know. Let's have a quick look and see what sort of thing we can do to upgrade this. We need to check out our logistics and then grading. I'm not particularly bothered about a full grade on this thing, but we shall see. Room quality, we can see that we have a uh, fan will increase it, drinks machine will, snack machine, water cooler, and um, plants. This one down the bottom, just to clarify, is 2 out of 10. So... We want it lower than that, so basically, I think what's going to go in between this is a, is a radiator. Uh, let's put a radiator there, and that will warm the room. We don't need anything around the kitchen, because the kitchen will be warm because of the cooking process. And let's place in, or let's at least plan off roughly what we're going to have. Um, let's go for maybe three, three, three. That's probably not reasonable and it for some reason we get this little thing there we have to close the tab to get it to fix itself and that's better and that is fine then the bottom here, i'm going to put some phone booths although does this one have them this one this one does have them yeah i originally was going to put a toilet in the canteen but 
no, it, it's not, it's not going to happen. So just phone booths down the bottom there. Although, what might be even better is... There we go. So if we go there, and then there, and then we've got a bit more, more of a gap. And it seems just a bit better designed. More areas for patrols and such. I think I'm going to do that. Honestly, think just having in the phone booze. No, we're not going to have them. Not going to have them in there. Okay, let's crack on with the canteen then. So objects and then our table. We'll place table one, two, three, four, five, six, and then benches, standard size, all the way across, and then that will do it. There we are. Okay, kitchen, similar sort of deal. Uh, cooker will go like so, and then we'll probably place some on the other side. We'll put fridges probably... Do you want to just go straight in the middle there? Uh, if you look, it's actually slightly off-centre. It's going to be... Hmm, do I change this up and put them that way? Where, regardless of where they're going to go, it's going to be off-centre, isn't it? Okay. Well, there's, they'll go in there, but I'll go up instead. And then... I think I do want to place the cookers along there. And then have the freezer on the back wall. I don't think we really need any more than six. I don't think so. Fridges on the back wall. Like that. That should be sufficient. Sadly, at the moment, I'll put a bin in the top there. There is no way to wash any dishes. We don't have a sink. Put one sink there. Might need more than that. We might have to retrofit this thing. But we'll see how we get on there. In terms of the hot water, we'll run some hot water into that and start to get that sorted. Still our one over capacity, one prisoner unable to be assigned to a cell. I am going to do a tunnel search all sectors. It's only 91. It won't take long. In fact, they are searching these ones, which... Don't need to be searched, but we'll, we'll let them crack on there. We haven't really checked out uh, for a while the programs or anything. So we can see programs running. We've got foundation education, three finished, one passed, 33% pass rate. Someone is still queued up there. Behavioral therapy is on the go. 23 in the queue, 20 finished, none of them have passed. Quite frankly, it is just a waste of money, a waste of 800 per day. So I might get rid of that one. In fact, I'm just going to stop it all. It's not working. Pharmacological treatment to drug addiction, six finished. Nobody's needing to go through it, so we'll turn that off alcoholics group uh, one in queue it's well there's actually three there three finished no past shame but we're still going to run that parole hearing we're going to keep going oh, half of past which is good spiritual guidance we got two full there uh, 712 finished with a 54 percent pass <laughs> sorry 54 past seven percent pass rate again don't know why we're bothering um and we've got that's pretty much it guard test certification we need to put that uh we'll put someone in the queue there but what i'll do one, two, three, four. I'll hire some more of those, followed by some more dag handlers because they need to go through all of these, uh, all of these th guard taser certifications anyway. So I might as well hire them. Over to utilities then, and then to our water pipe. We'll run the water pipe along there, and also a water pipe to there because I have actually remembered to put in a sprinkler like so. So if that uh, sets on fire, then we should be. Uh, you know, in a better situation. Looks like we've got a drug overdose, something that we have seen several times. And no, that's uh, Benjamin Scrut, who is now wandering away. Looks like they've already been treated, so that's pretty good. Anyway, uh, this should be set up correctly. So deployment and then to staff only, and then we'll change that to staff only, which is fine. That's access only. This is set to supermax. We're just going to double check. Uh, no, that was actually set not to supermax. That was actually checked to uh, max sex, so... Yeah, good job I double-checked it. It's because it's um, quite a similar colour. You don't know if it's just whether you mouse over it or not. Hmm, anyway. Supermax, there we are. And... Ooh, looks like there's a bit of fighting there, but it seems to have stopped immediately. In order to aid progression around here, I think what we're going to do is take a little step back, take a beat, door control system, door control system will go there, followed by a phone tap, and this will be solely there for monitoring all of this stuff at the top. So door servos there, one, two, three, four, and then one, and then two. That is fine. While we're here as well, we may as well go for metal detector, because as I said, this is all about getting this thing fit for prison habitation and making it secure there. 
we'll go ahead and also... Hmm... What do I want to do? Checkpoint it and... Ah! That's a problem. Checkpoint is larger than I thought. <laughs> right. That's going to cause some issues. Right. I'm going to have to expand that. So let's remove those. Cancel that. And dismantle that one. And we'll have to expand this down a little bit to there. So we'll have... Foundations, technically. Foundations, rusty wall. It needs to be, like... Ugh. It's just not going to go in. That'll have to do. And it's probably going to delete loads of stuff, but eh, it matters not, I guess. And I told them to stop that, but let's dismantle it. Anyway, they're cracking on to build all of this. We'll have to redo some of the, the walls and such. Utilities, we'll connect that up. This will be built, and because we can, we'll place a bin there. It seems to be the natural place for it. And then we have to think about really what else we desperately need. Oh. More fighting there. Guard dog. Killed by death. Sadly, been attacked by that prisoner, Ian Ward. Since the AAS for multiple crimes, including murder and aggravated assault. Triple murder. Ah, oh, is that just another murder that's just been added on top of there? I don't know. I think it might have been. <laughs> wow. It was actually murder of the canine, so... Who would Digby? Yeah, that cell ain't good enough for them. Right, so <laughs> that's the opposite of what we wanted to achieve, but hey ho. Over to doors, large jail door, that'll go in there. Back to walls, and then we'll place that wall in like so. Back over to our objects here, and we'll max speed that out while they crack on with this. It's currently sleep time, but not enough time for us to do any searching. Uh, those guys are frantically stuck. <laughs> Yeah, so as I said, this is a one way in anyway, but they're not going to ever leave this place. So I don't really, I don't really care <laughs> whether we've got a one way in here. Sorry, they will leave, but you can go through a one way system um, if you've been freed anyway. But as I said, they're, they're not going to be leaving here under normal circumstances. So that's why we'll place this in. Whether or not it's going to cause us a big issue, well, we'll just have to see, won't we? If it does, then we'll have to rearrange this little bit up here. So, that's been ordered. Eating's there. That's been placed, which should be all fine. That jail dot is going through a little bit of a crisis. Let's, let's put that there. And go to connections. So, connections. We have a door control system, which will connect up one, two, three, four, and this one. And <laughs> it's always weird when you look through... And you see them sort of floating midair in the in the water there. It's, are they swimming? No, they're just on the on the on the ferry. In terms of money, doing very well. Seventy-two grand, five grand per day. Obviously, that's gone down quite a considerable amount because we've just spent a lot of money on buying some guards, and now obviously we've got the upkeep for that as well. Door servo is on order, and it is slowly coming along, as you can see. It's actually quite pretty in that view, isn't it? When we're wiring it up. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> anyway, that's now in, and that should be sorted. And the chief is calling once more. Let me change these to standard, and we'll have a little chat. The radio horse that was apparently fired after a lot of complaints, there wouldn't be any more problems with radios in the prison. Um. Okay. Was, was, that a thing? Was it? Cool. Right. Um. <laughs> there's only. A couple of radios in the place anyway, so there you are. Right, back over to the building here. You can see everything is going through the metal detectors. It's already been scanned at the uh, original uh, original arrival point anyway on this scanning machine, so we don't need to scan it again because I don't think it can be changed as things move on. That guard is currently stationed there, and I don't mind. That's all right. This guard is obviously stationed as well. There's your one-way bit across but obviously staff can go through the other way which is all fine that kitchen is getting sorted so honestly it is I think just at this stage let me dismantle that light and also I think we probably want to put on a solitary door in there what we need to do is furnish the common room which we will go ahead and go ahead go ahead and go ahead that's a double double going ahead on that one 
10-4, and also we're going to bulldoze this yard, which will obviously remove all of the lighting, which isn't a problem. You may notice that we've got these failed to do. I'm guessing that's just a quirk of the timing, that they are ordered to do it, but then the ferry's not in the right place, so they can't do it, and all that sort of thing. Either way, so far, happy to say, not seeing any real major problems with, with uh, things being ordered and such and there's a bit more to be removed you can see there's a little bit of foundation left in places and most of this is actually being brought and they're just carrying it to to the edge of there and then obviously they're going to go back to the mainland so that's now being cleared if we check our deployment we need to change that to max sec we've still got no oh, no that's fine that's all max sec this is max sec all these are max sec that is sound all that's done to be honest that's going to be staff only and that can't be staff only that has to be super max all oh, this is super max I could have said max sec but it's all super max this is access only that is access only and that should be fine right well, let's go ahead and go to objects and place I think we're gonna place in not gonna place a guard tower I think we will place the guard pavilion because it goes right in the middle and a PA system will also be implemented like so. In terms of the flooring, we are going to use the standard standard flooring, I think, which is the concrete tiles, which we'll place in here. And quite frankly, I might as well go ahead and place the flooring in like so, all the way around here, and then across and down. And what have I used in there? That's all just been the iron floor. So it's all just iron floor. Concrete tiles in here and in here. This is set up as that, is it? Right. We'll have mosaic floor. Do I want a mosaic floor? I don't really know. Mm, I think we'll go on mosaic. We'll, we'll follow the rough idea. Of what we've had previously. Oh, there is a death there. Let's just check out what's happened. Obviously, it's someone kicking off. And yes, it is Prisoner Nightingale, Stephen Nightingale, age 22. For some reason, all the targeting the guard dog, and that's Barky. Sadly, no more. And we've been knocked unconscious. Hmm. There we are. Anyway, let's max this. Uh, max speed this out. Get some electrical cable running across to those. Um, probably use that would be sufficient. And you see we have a guard pavilion there. So in terms of the guard pavilion, I think we can assign, in deployment here, we can assign people to it. Well, it's going to be assign armed guards, naturally. <laughs> There's going to be an armed guard there. Sadly, you can't assign a sniper to it, but armed guard should be sufficient. We don't have our armory on site, and we never intended to have one. That's okay. Danger level is flying up, and that's concerning. Prisoners have serious complaints. And it's food need. Oh, it's a critical food need as well. Why is that? I think I know what it is. It's a lack of bandwidth. See that? This supply boat is not supplying <laughs> this quick enough. <laughs> right, because we've been building so much, there's not enough food coming into the facility. So we need another dock. That's fine. We can do that. So, boat dock. Could build it. Could build it there. I think that's what we'll do. Dismantle that. And that fence we'll remove as well. Um... Where am I looking at? Doors, demolish walls. There we are. Farm Pro. Set that to that. And it should fit in there. Hopefully it will fit. Objects. Reet to the bottom. Boat dock. Bosh. Because that's a noise you have to make. And then <laughs> straight away, it's placed, it's placed immediately and then does that. Thank you, game. Thank you. Okay. Logistics. Transport. Turn those off. That's all we need to do. Deliveries are set as standard, I believe. Yep, yeah, that's okay. Um, walls and 
fencing. We'll go fencing to there, followed by a staff door in there, and then a bit of flooring, like so. And then there we are. So food will now be brought in. You can see it's filthy around here. Two more janitors. Another gardener. This is... I wouldn't say still within our standard expansion such. Uh, uh, expansion um, expectations. Normally when you expand, you expect to be hiring more people. But we have the added... That's a visitor boat. And I quite clearly told it not to use visitors. It is definitely turned off. I think it's just because they arrived on that boat. They've now left on it. Either way, we now have two boat docks, which is good. Eating. What is going on there? We have got a problem. Logistics. Food distribution. Food distribution is set. That's wrong for a start off. There we go. That's better. That's now supplied. Okay. I'll have to alter it. You can see it's, automat it's automatically doing this, but it was wrong. It should be correct now. Danger level's gone back down. Fine, that's okay. Another bit of fighting somewhere. Looks like Alex Sexton's starting to fight. Okay, so we'll do a shakedown, and we want to say Max Secconi. We don't... No, not Max Sec. Yeah, su uh, Max Secconi. We don't want to search Super Max. There's no reason to to do that. You can see the staff are still having to search everywhere and the, the builders are still building in and around here. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. In terms of the flooring in the staff room and the staff canteen, that will be... This will probably be just using wood. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do that. This staff room doesn't actually yet have a toilet, so I probably want to put one in. There and there, and then, sadly, toilet, go there and there. It would be nice if there was a built-in one-by-one cubicle, or even not, maybe a one-by-two cubicle, instead of having to do this, but it is what it is, not a big issue. In terms of flooring, once again, wooden flooring, that'll go along here. There's another death, I'll have to see what's going on here. I think it's within tolerance of starved to death. That's definitely not with intolerance. No. No. Wow. Scott Edwards, 45. Six days without incident. Strong stalker, extremely deadly instigator. That is our fault. Just didn't see it. Because I checked this. Huh. See, they still have serious complaints. Food is being cooked. Food is definitely being cooked. But not much. There's also loads of staff food up there. Why is all the bacon and stuff being sent up here? That's wrong. It's broke. Right, all they've got is cabbages. <laughs> what? what? They've only got cabbages here. They've got no food here. Okay, rooms. Uh, I'm just going to have to remove that for now. I don't have much choice. And they're also bringing trays up to here. Oh, that's just... Come on, I thought we'd passed that many, many alphas ago. It must be me setting up this distribution correctly. Laundry distribution is okay. Food distribution is correct. Yeah, the yard, and then all of these, followed by solitary. And all the prisoners are kicking off. And that guy just picked up a shotgun and put it in the bin, because that's generally where you store them. Right, it is a problem with food being brought in. But for some reason, it's all this food here. Right. 
I'm not too sure what the solution is yet. I'm really not. Okay, let's just finish the flooring off. That's been ordered. That guy's on break for <laughs> quite up for, uh, far away from where they started, but there you are. Ceramic will go across there, followed by the concrete tiles will go up here, go along there, in here. All of this will be concrete. This will go into the morgue, which will become ceramic, like that. I believe that's what we had previously. Let me check. That is exactly what we've had previously. And the flooring will be iron floor throughout the entire area. So for once in this build series, what's the... That's that one. For once in this build series, we actually placed the flooring in before anything else. I mean, we've got the money, and it might be the last thing we do with the way this danger level is set. An incident in another facility has highlighted potential issues with security checks when it comes to family visitation in prisons. Until the process can be properly reviewed, all visitation must be suspended. You have 12 hours to remove all visitation rooms in your area. Okay, rooms and then visitation, which is fixed. There's that done. Right, let's go over to our policy. And we want to go down to food policy, nutritional policy, set, uh, where would it be? I want to set it to, so, um, maximum security, meal quantity high, meal variety high. We need to get these guys fed. You can see people are being healed, but, is that guy called Witch Doctor? Billy Chills, but also says Witch Doctor. Starved to death. Wow. That's... Yeah. Hmm. Why have they just got cabbages? Why is it just cabbages? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to dump all these cabbage boxes. Get them dumped. Bring in some other food. There we go. And they should order more food. And that's still coming back and forward as a visitor boat. Double check on that transportation. Definitely turned off. The only thing that's brought in is food. There's loads of eggs coming along now. And there's loads of bacon cooking. Okay, it seems that there's been a big problem with the food. And they've brought in all of this food, and it's just totally glitched out. Luckily, I think we fixed the problem. Seven nine prisoners still have serious complaints. And that, that is a serious complaint, but... See that look? It says starving in exclamation marks. In capitals with exclamation marks. Oh, no, no exclamation mark, just capitals. But they weren't able to eat. But that's been fulfilled. Um, you know what? Regime. Eat, eat, eat. <laughs> just, just turn around. Keep eating. This is a special feast. <laughs> Don't have much choice. Okay. And that's pretty much all we can have. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Needs, though. It's been fulfilled for the most part. Good, okay. Back over to all here. Um, medium, medium. Back to normal now. But it's very, it's curious that that happened when we did, did this. What I'm going to do, then, to try and avoid that happening again... What I'm going to do is, for a start, double check our power. Power is fine. Looking at the grid, we are on this grid, which is also fine. Over to objects, then, fridge. And we're going to place fridges in like so, and get a lot more fridges. Because I want to make sure that we are able... And they're still coming over here to wash that. I don't know why. Um, right, over to objects. Dismantle. There we go. So, I'm just wanting to put in more things in order to secure 
the uh, the food storage. I think that's that's best. Let's prioritize that, and that's also cracking on. At least now, it is pretty much sorted, I believe. Okay. So this yard, you can see we've not got anything in it. it it's going to be terribly graded. In terms of what we can put in the yard, it's... Ah. It's not actually designated, because I removed the flooring. So that's why I wasn't showing anything in the objects there. We could put tyres, we could put dumbbells. We've got a PA system. Weight benches is probably what you would expect, but I don't really want to give them access to that sort of thing. Bleaches would be a bit unreasonable. It's a bit big, isn't it? So maybe just a couple of small benches. Like that. And it seems to fit in quite nicely, so... Actually, I'll, what I'll do is I'll remove those. I'll place them there and there. Yeah, that's better. I like that. And that's pretty much it. That'll be their exercise need. Their exercise need is fine. We want to fulfill that exercise need, but we don't want to give them the traits that <laughs> make them stronger and better at fighting. All right, so back over to the left then. Um, a morgue and an infirmary. We will place down infirmary. And there's that set up nicely. Right, so I think we will leave it there. It's been... And we didn't get as much done as I thought. I keep clicking on that sink and mirror because it looks suspiciously like uh, the kitchen fridge. Where is it? I don't want to designate this as fridge again. But anyway, that's going to go across to there. So as I said, we're going to leave it there for this episode. And next one we will crack on and basically transfer some prisoners over. What I'll do is select maybe two or three legendary prisoners, transfer transfer them over to this facility, and see how it runs. And obviously, we need to run in things like the... Um, well, we've got power and water, but we need to set up probably some... Well, definitely more patrols um, and set up that sort of thing. But yeah, we'll bring people over. Once we finish the infirmary, the morgue, and a bit of stuff in the common room, we'll then transfer a couple over, see how it goes, and keep a very, very, uh, <laughs> yeah, strenuous uh, focus on the canteens and kitchens, because that just didn't work out, did it? Well, hopefully it's all sorted, and we'll see what happens in the next episode. Would like to have got the prisoners in this one, but sadly, we've had other things to deal with. But overall, quite happy with what we have accomplished. Next episode, as I said, we'll transfer some prisoners over and see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.